Um, you know, I we're just taking reps every day, and we'll see by game time. So I'm not sure. Good. No, it's uh, it's been good. It's been a lot of work. So uh, everybody's working hard. Um, you know, this is one of the best camps I've been a part of, I think, personally. I mean, everybody w has been working extremely hard every day. Everybody's bringing it. How to win, sorry. Oh, good. Yeah, we felt good. There's a lot of stuff we still got to clean up, obviously. But um, we're going to be good and ready to go by game time. Yeah, um, I learned quite a bit you know it, getting reps like that in the year is really good and especially after getting to watch Jojo play all year I learned a ton from Jojo so getting those reps last year was huge for me um you know I I think I did my job you know consistently you know I did my I, obviously first time filling in it's hard to get in the groove right away but I felt like towards that Iowa game I was in my groove and I was playing my game Yeah, um, obviously coverage, coverage is my biggest point of emphasis, you know, and I think I've worked pretty hard on that over the offseason. So how do you get better at um, Just knowing the defense, right? Knowing where your help is, who's helping you on which play, and just knowing your leverage. So. How, how far have you come uh, with your knowledge base there? Where did you start when you first got here as opposed to where you are now? Well, when I first got here, I didn't know jack squat, you know. So it's I've come a long way since my first day here at the stadium, and Learning the defense, I've come a long way. How what is it? Um, it it's it's pretty unique. You know, every school runs it. Everybody has their version of nickel or whatever. But um, our our defense, we run a lot of it, so it's pretty important. What do you do with your skill set? Um, you know, well, coming in, I've always been like a tweener. You know, a safety linebacker, not really sure which one. So nickel is kind of perfect. Do a lot of coverage. I'm in the run too, so it fits me pretty well. Yeah, I know. I text him about every day. So we're, we go back and forth about camp, what he's doing, what I'm doing. You know, we we're in constant communication. Oh, you know, I mean, I'll send him clips. You know, what could I do here? How do I fit this better? How do I read this this tackle pull better? You know, just stuff like that. Um, he's my brother, so he's always going to be a little tougher on me than everybody else. With the team and the defense, um, it, we're very close. This, this defense, we're all best friends. I mean, we all live close to each other, and we all hang out together on and off the field. How do you describe that to you guys as you're competing with that nickel slaughter rate with Mm-hmm. Um, I think well. I think we're all on the same page. We all know the defense very well. I think all of us could play. Honestly, I do. So I think we're we're a special group, and we got a lot of talent in the group. What makes, what would, why was JoJo so good at that position? You know, he 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 got to play that for four years, and he figured it out. Like he he knew exactly how to play each each uh, I don't know spot in the nickel position in each defense in each coverage we play. He just really figured out his weaknesses and his strengths, and he played to them. How did he do, like, what did he do to prepare and, and improve and get that? Uh, JoJo was a big film guy. He loved watching film. He, uh, he prepared very well for games, and by the time game, game time was there, he, was, he knew what was coming. How often, how many film sessions are you doing a day? Um, right now, during camp, yeah. quite a few. You know, we don't really leave the stadium during camp, so we're in the film room a lot. Yep. Yeah, so that Yeah, so we'll have meetings in the morning, and then we'll have, uh, well, before practice meetings, and then we'll have more film sessions in the afternoon, and then we have our position meetings, and then more later at night. What's something that you learned about watching film at this point, or something, you know, a recent takeaway that you Um, You know, it's just recent stuff, I mean, Every coverage we put in, there's film to watch of it. So it's just you learn how to play a different coverage every day, kind of, you know. I think you feel like uh, Ireland's getting close or still far away? Yeah, you know, every day I kind of, it kind of jumps on me. It's like, oh, we're going to be in Ireland next Monday, you know. So it's, it's coming fast.
came up on us. You know, I think we could go play right now. There's o there's obviously stuff we still need to clean up, but we're ready to go. What are you most looking forward to about being over there in Dublin? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I'm a little Irish, so it's, it's kind of cool to go over there. I know my grandpa was very in touch with his Irish side. Um, you know, they got new guys, so you can't – it's hard to tell with some of the guys, but, you know, they got the same coaches, and you you can see a lot of the stuff they run from last year. But we'll, we'll be ready to change up everything when they change. You say your grandfather was very in touch with his Irish side. What does that mean? Oh, he was – you know, he was uh, Irish, and he just – if he was still still alive, he, he would have been there, too. He would have been in Ireland with me. So, pretty cool. All right. Thanks, guys. Yep. Thanks, guys.